Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I hope Good everybody evening. is okay. Good evening. Good evening. Are you class excited? Today is our last day in this course, and the next course will be the pre-intermediate. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We did it. Congratulations. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, Norma. Hi. I hope everybody is okay. Uh, si me escuchan bien, verdad? Yo lo escucho yes. todo cortado, teacher. ¿Me escuchan cortado? Sí, se, la imagen igual se mira así bien cortada. Sí, la, la... Está fallando. Sí, está fallando un poco, fíjense. Y no uh -huh. entiendo por qué, porque igual... Si la desconectamos, la volvemos a conectar, pues todo está bien. Eh, supongo que todo está bien. Y si me paso a la cámara de la computadora, igual me pasa. Entonces quizás es la tarjeta de video acá. Vamos a ver. Es que si no es una cosa, es otra, ¿verdad? Miren pues. Aquí ya me pasé de regreso. A ver. Vaya, ahí nos estamos viendo. ¡Ay! ¿Para qué dijimos? Vamos a ver. <ríe> ok. Va, miren. Voy a tratar de seguir así, pero si el audio está bien. ¿Ok? ¿El audio está bien? Sí, el audio de ahorita se escucha bien. Va. Entonces, sí. sigamos así, hagan como que no me miran. ¿Ok? Ahí se me quedó. Por lo menos un ratito y luego la voy a encender otro ratito. ¿Ok? Um, bien, let's go back to the last class. What do you remember from the last class? The conversation in past time, time past. Uh -huh. Past tense. Uh -huh. In the past tense, correct. And we were saying a particular verb that it's independent from any other verb. What verb was that? The verb be. Remember, the verb be. Mm -hmm. What is the form um, of the verb be in the past simple tense? Was. 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 Uh -huh. Where? Where. Where. Correct. Mm -hmm. Was and where. Okay. El día que me puse bien bonita no me quiere tomar este, esta cámara. <laughs> A ver, algo... A ver, tal vez así, vamos a ver acá. Es que está demasiado bonita. Está sí, sí, no eso bien. es despampanante. <ríe> <ríe> ok, vamos a ver, yo creo que por aquí va a estar bien. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Es que últimamente he movido constantemente mi, mi pobre máquina. Le hemos dado muy duro. Vamos a ver si hoy, nada. Ok, bien. Uh, eh, eh, picture, picture. Uh -huh. if, if, you, if you restart your PC. Uh -huh. It could be, it could be, but I cannot do that right now. What I'm going to do, what yeah. I'm going to do is just to, um, probablemente si quito el, el fondo virtual, aunque miren todo verde atrás. Okay. Hasta tenía la para ver. You have many, many windows. 
program opening open yes i have a lot of um you can turn off your camera and on and after all right bye i'm gonna come here let's see Bueno, don't so fucking a whole lot. Voy a, voy a apagar el video un momento otra vez, ¿ok? And let's continue. Así que van a tener que practicar el listening ahora. No me van a ver my mouth moving. So you will have to practice the listening. All right, people. Now, let's say that we were talking about the was and where usages and we said that we expressed the actions in the past or the characteristics that were applicable in the past and they stayed in the past right that's the difference between the present and the past some are habits that um, we used to do in the past and maybe in the present we don't anymore right Maybe when we were younger, maybe when we were in a specific place, living over there. And those experiences are expressed by the simple past tense. And we use the simple past tense of the verb be to express those things, right? And let's remember that we have to um, learn Complete ideas, ok? Vamos a aprendérnoslo como una idea completa. A complete idea. We are not going to translate word by word. Remember, right? Remember. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer un poquito de ejercicio, ¿sí? Vamos a hacer unos pequeños ejercicios para ir cayendo en la cuenta. Ay, miren, sí. Ahorita estoy cerrando algunas que tengo abiertas por acá. Tal vez hoy sí podamos pasar de un lado al otro. Ok. Va. Entonces, vamos a... El objetivo de la clase de hoy, the objective of today's class, is to practice the vocabulary and we are going to do a reading practice. Ok. We are going to do a reading practice and also we want to practice the grammar structures of these past tense question. So remember that we learned the WH questions and also we uh, studied the direct questions with the past, right? And we used only the did, did as the auxiliary to form the past tense in questions, right? And for the negative, we use did not. It means didn't, okay? Was and the negative is wasn't. Where and the negative is weren't. 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 Uh -huh. And when we use the verb to be, we don't use did because it's totally independent, right? Porque es totalmente independiente. Okay, now just one second and allow me to go this way. Here we go. I think it is going to be possible this way. So let's start over. Okay, here we go. Our section five was about the simple past. And the question we were asking for was when were you born and where were you born? So we were talking about dates and places, right? Dates and places and also experiences related to our um, growing up stage, okay? So we are going to say that today we are going to study the vocabulary from section five and it was simple past and past of B, okay? And the past of B. Entonces, vamos a hacer una cosa. Yo les voy a pasar este um, um, file. ¿Cómo se dice? File, file, file. Archivo, ¿ok? 
este archivo de Word y eh, vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms, ¿ok? Y vamos a hacer este worksheet, ¿ok? La primera parte, the first part, is the simple present, ¿ok? We are going to use, I mean, we are going to contrast the simple present, the past tense, using deed, and the past tense of be. En la misma worksheet vienen las tres partes, ¿ok? La primera parte es el presente simple. La segunda parte es usando el, eh, el tiempo pasado simple del verbo. Y luego tenemos la tercera parte que es usando el was and, y el where. ¿okay? Entonces se los voy a pasar en este momento. Estoy tratando de jalarlo para acá. ¿Okay? Es un documento de Word. Espero que esté todo bien. ¿Okay? A ver si llegó aquí en el Zoom, ¿ok? Aquí en el chat de Zoom. No, no, teacher, no, 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 no está. Oh, all right. Uh, I think it is because I have it open, right? Ah, uh, okay, okay, no problem. Just one second. Pero si entro, ¿verdad? Teacher. Mm. Okay, I will close it up. Vale, y lo voy a pasar primero y después lo voy a presentar acá. Okay, vamos a ver si ahora sí. Teacher, I don't know if you say my name. Actually, I haven't called the attendance yet. No, no he oh, pasado okay, la you. lista todavía. All right. Thank you. Sir. Okay, okay. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? No. Yes, teacher. Aquí yes, en el, en el chat de Zoom. Aquí en el chat de Zoom. No, yo no lo tengo. Teacher. Yo? Teacher. Dígame. Revise, revise en, en el chat que no esté específico a alguien, que esté para todos. It's in the chat, teacher. Oh, okay, yes, you're right. Uh oh No, no mm -hmm. teacher, but, it, but it's in the chat. I no, sí, sí, it. lo mandé para todos. Sí. Mm -hmm. Teacher, a mí sí me sale. Okay. Can someone do me a favor and please send it through the WhatsApp? Can you? Yeah, teacher. Please, I'll thank it. you. I think it is over there now, right? Down, teacher. It's in the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. I really appreciate Thank your you. love. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is, guys. So now I'm going to um, open the breakout rooms. So we are going to do these exercises. And then when we come back, we are going to call the roll. And also we are going to do a reading practice, okay? One second. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many of us are? Connected twenty four. All right. Okay, there you go.
please join your rooms. Melissa, I sent the invitation. Did you receive the invitation? Nelson? Yamilet? Did you receive the invitation? Could you please join your room? Juan Marcelo, you can join your room just to listen to your classmates working. Okay, just one second. Pero especifica que tiene que ser con el do. What is he? What is what? What is he? Okay, remember that in the simple present, we use do and does when we ask questions, right? If the main verb is do, what is the auxiliary for he? What does he? What does he do? Yes. What does he do? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Remember, he... this is the simple present. Do? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What? What does he do? Now, number four. Saying the verb. No. No. Okay. They. Are not no. correct because that's the form are not for they the... and it's negative. Yeah, they are not the West Branch. Don't they Yes, don't distribute, right? Don't, distribute. don't, 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 mm -hmm. don't distribute. Wait, I, ah, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Now number six, we, oh, no, six, six. It's your company. It's your company. Yeah, like the first one. It's your company. Eh, aquí creo que sería igual, este, así como está, no distribute. Just remember that in the simple present, we have different uh, auxiliaries, right? And we, when we, I'm sorry, when we want to say a negative form, we use doesn't and don't. Okay, in this case, we are talking about a plural, so the West branches don't distribute. All right, remember, llevaría do no, I en see. esa de arriba está bien porque es el verbo be, verdad? Y ese oh. es totalmente separado de el do y el does. Ahí se es que el... Exacto, do not. Y en el de arriba, en la número tres, lea la de arriba. ¿Cuál es el, el verbo auxiliar para he? Does. Does, do. exactly. Y el verbo principal que le están diciendo es do, ¿verdad? Entonces, what does he do? 
Remember? Hoy sí ya se acordaron. Yes. Okay. Este es el presente simple. Este es el presente simple. Acordémonos que en el presente simple usamos does and do. Y mm -hmm. utilizamos el is, am y are. Ok. Mm -hmm. Are you company in the tourist industry? Your company mm -hmm. is it. Entonces sería, is your company? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Porque es su compañía, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Una cosa, right? Is your company? Mm -hmm. There you go. I... I... Huh? I do ah. not see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't see your point. Mm -hmm. Your point. Mm -hmm. Pero aquí... Computer. Yours. Work. Mm -hmm. Our work there. Mm -hmm. Computers work slow. Please. Do check them. Las computadoras trabajan lentas. Por favor, chequelas. Right? Please mm -hmm. check them. El check se congela. No, ahí es mm -hmm. igual. Queda igual. Como forma base. Uh -huh. Hello, Isaura. Hi, teacher. Uh, are you just coming in? Yes, uh, I feel the okay. interest because I okay. stay in airport. Oh, all right. Okay. And, uh, waiting uh, family. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now we are in the breakout room. So I will assign you to one, all right? Now, I think to the room two. We are doing a worksheet, okay? Okay, teacher. There you go. Ana Yamilet. Estaba trabajando con algún grupo, Ana. Was, was, en la número tres tendría que ser what is he does. What is he, what is he what does? Is he does. Oh, what does what he, he does? does. What, <laughs> does he, <laughs> what is he does? Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, what does? Teacher. Yes, yes, here I am. Hey, come on. This is the simple present, guys. This is the simple present. We had a dog. No way. Vaya, veamos entonces. Look, this is simple present. Remember that in the simple present, we have the verb to be. The verb to be has is um and are okay mm -hmm. but also we have do and does okay mm -hmm. we have do and does para los verbos que no son el verbo to be usamos el do y el does como auxiliary verdad como un auxiliar entonces veamos el primer verbo it's correct it says it says be so in the question we say what is your name right mm -hmm. the next verb is have What's the auxiliary verb we use with 
a different do we verb. Have a meeting? Yes, yes, correct. Do we do have a meeting? meeting? Yeah. Do uh, we so have a meeting? Do. Correct. Do we mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Y ahí fue mi culpa, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Los tienen todos en el acantilado. Ah, ok. Sí, no. Acordémonos que en el presente simple tenemos que usar los auxiliares del presente simple, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes, sister. Mm -hmm. well, okay. En no. número 3, ¿qué hace? ¿Qué hace? No, ¿qué hace? ¿Qué hace? ¿Qué hace? Ajá, acordémonos que así preguntamos cuál es tu profesión o a qué te dedicas, what ¿verdad? What da, o a qué se dedica él, ¿verdad? What does he do? ¿Qué hace él? Right? What does he do? Hmm? Pueden ir corrigiendo. Eh, no sé quién sí, está sí, diciendo. El do we have a meeting. Eh, la do dos la tengo que cambiar. Do, sí, do we have a meeting. Do, do, we, have a do meeting? we have a meeting? They don't. They don't are in the various industry number four, teacher. Number four, yeah. Remember, this is simple present. It says, fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb in parentheses, agreeing with the subject, the plural or singular. But this is present simple statements, okay? So we are not using didn't. We are using? The, don't. No, no, porque es el verbo be. Y el verbo be es independiente aren't. totalmente. Yes, aren't. aren't. Mm -hmm. Aren't. They aren't in the beverage industry. Yes, uh, they aren't. Hmm? Okay. Uh oh, ponchado. Sí, <laughs> Y es el presente simple, bueno, chicos, solo recuerden un poquito. <ríe> no, pero no se preocupen, es el último día, pero nos vamos a ir bien entrenados en el presente simple y en el pasado simple. Hoy es el último día, teacher. Yes, today is the last day of class. Señor Jesús, bendito sea Dios, gracias. <ríe> yes, Manuel. Yes, Manuel. <ríe> Number yeah. five, the West Branch uh -huh. aren't distributed. That's distribute. correct. No, it says don't distribute is correct. Don't distribute. Don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't distribute. Mm -hmm. Don't distribute. That's the line. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. you company in tourist industry? A, your company is Number it. Six. Your company is it. it. Ajá, entonces, it. ¿cuál sería la forma del be para it? It is. No, is. Is your it company. It. Is your company. Mm -hmm. It's your company. Así, solo is. In the tourist. Is, okay. Mm -hmm. Is your company in the tourism industry? Okay. I don't, number seven. I don't, I don't see. see. I don't see. see. Yay, yeah, you got it, you got it. Go ahead, continue guys. Yes. Computer, computer, computer work. Right. The number seven. Uh, I, don't I don't see number seven. I, I don't, don't see. I don't see. Computer. Ahí sería works, creo yo. Si es plural, no. Si es solo una computadora, sí. Pero ahí hay plural o dice solo una. Computer. Plural. Computer. Plural. So we Computer. say work. Computer. Work. Slow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Es cierto porque si la, la S sería para she, it, correct. o y, ¿verdad? Y eso es como they. Yes, correct. Ay, teacher, me lo <laughs> Ah, pero ahorita están recordando todo. You see, you're doing a good job. 
Entonces, en singular o plural, computer word. Eh, es plural, word, mm -hmm. slow, please check. Es igual, but check them. Yes. My family don't. Yes, don't mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. Creo que ya se nos acabó el tiempo casi, compañero. Sí, yo creo que ya se acabó. No, it is okay. Here I am. I'm just observing, yeah? Don't worry. Okay. La, num la número la 13. 13. Es... Okay. No. Those employees are the core values. Yeah. Employees, right? Plural, right? Mm -hmm. No. Como empleadas, empleados o empleadas, pero bastante. No, dice, plural. ¿sabías que los empleados, dice? No, no, no. Eh, que si los empleados conocen o saben. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Los valores de la empresa. Oh, okay. oh. Sería entonces. Ah, do. Do, do. no employees. Do employees now the core values. Mm -hmm. There you go. Do. Do. Uh -huh, do. Okay. Valores fundamentales. La número 14. Okay. Okay. Oh. How, how, do. how do. How do. How do. How do. Let's look at what's the subject. The subject is this small business. Mm. So if it is a small business, right? We're going to use do or does. Is it it or is it they? What, what subject is this? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? The small this. business. This. It's only one, right? Yes. Yes. So, if Good. it is singular, it's third person, right? Yes. We are going to use what auxiliary? Do or does? Does? Yes. How I'm does? Sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does the small business survive? Yes. There you go. You got it. Now, let's go to the, the simple past. Yes, the first is they won the race. They won. They won the race. Won. They, they won, won the race. Race. Mm -hmm. Ese verbo en pasado es exactamente igual la pronunciación al número uno. Okay. One and, and one. one. Uh huh. One and one. Yes, it's the same pronunciation. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Giraffe. Giraffe. Eaten. Eat. Past tense. Simple eight. past tense. Eight. Giraffe ate all eight. the, all the tiles, trees in the air. 
Yes. In the area. Yes. What about number three? Because became. Computers became a great yeah. tool. Mm -hmm. Uber change it. Yes, change it. Yes. What is the pronunciation, teacher? Change. Change. Change it. Uh -huh. Change it with a letter D. Change, change. it. Uh -huh. G. Yeah, with the letter D. D. Change it. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Did you have a good weekend? Yes, no. I did. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> How about your weekend? <laughs> Number five. Mm -hmm. Yes, did you have? Did you have a good weekend? Huh? Yo pensé que era pregunta propia, no la había visto. <laughs> no. <laughs> Number six. Marketing. Uh, making was coptic a year ago. Marketing was. Ah, chaotic. Chaotic. A year ago. Mm -hmm. Again, Miss. Uh huh. Marketing was what? chaotic. Chaotic. Oh, okay. A year chaotic. ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ya terminó Daniela, miren, ahí lo puso en el WhatsApp. <risa> Nosotros porque tuvimos complicaciones en un principio. Técnicas, uh -huh. yeah, yes, all right. No, no, ya. Yeah. no porque hubieran terminado ustedes también, yo sé. Yo sé que ustedes son buzos. Pass for prepare. Prepare. Mm -hmm. Prepare. Yes, number eight, Ahora sí, ya ven que tienen bastante vocabulario, ¿verdad? You, you see that you have a lot of vocabulary now, right? I don't know if you can listen to me. Is it okay, my audio? We can listen, teacher, but we cannot <laughs> see you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm right in front of the camera. I don't know why. Maybe yeah. I am the one behind the table in that picture. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you, you, I mean, you have to trust me. I am here. Here I am. This is not a recording. All right. <laughs> this is me alive. <laughs> okay, people. So, how was it, uh, I mean, how was it? How was this activity? You got it? Sure. Mm -hmm. 
eh, la asistencia no la va a pasar. Yes, of course. I have to. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am going to do it. ¿Cómo no? Sí la voy a pasar. Y esa era la idea después que regresáramos de allá de las eh, salas de trabajo. Yo iba a pasar la asistencia y creo que todavía nos da un chancecito para hacer una pequeñísima lectura. Ok, bien. Pónganse listos, pues, y bonitos. Turn your camera on and when you hear your name, you will say present. All right. So let's start. Hey, by the way, what date is it today? Today is December. The? Tuesday, the 20th. The 20th. Uh -huh. 20th. Of, 22. Of 2022. 20. Yes, correct. So December, well, it will be Tuesday at the beginning, then December, the 20th of 2022. All right. Alexandra Patricia Arevalo Reyes. Present teacher. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Ana Yamila Hernández Martínez. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martínez. I am here teacher. Okay. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Present teacher. Present. Cristina Claribel Chavarría de Bonilla. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Hércules Torres. Present teacher. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Georgina Concepción Menéndez Echeverría. Thank you, Emilio. Georgina. Hilda Beatriz Pineda Leiva. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Osía Alexiomar Mejía Benavides. Present teacher. Juan Marcelo Flores. Manuel Aristides Cardona Navarro. Present teacher. Ok. Mariana Denise Monterrosa Portillo. Present teacher. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán Torres. Present teacher. Merian, Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present teacher. Nelson Adán Cerón Medina. Present teacher. Ok. Norma Elizabeth Callejas López. Present teacher. Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present teacher. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Verónica Stephanie Castro Rivera. Present teacher. Ok, Present Ronald. Teacher. Ok, Verónica. Xiomara Natalie Rivera Ríos. Teacher. Ok, Ronald. Uh -huh. Yamilet Geraldina Martínez de García. Present teacher. Suleiman Peratriz Álvarez de Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok, so here we go. We are going to continue with this thing. A ver, veamos la primera parte de la, eh, de la worksheet de la hoja de trabajo. Ok. A ver, en la primera parte veíamos que era the simple present statements. Remember? Simple present statements. So it means that we use the auxiliary verb do and does depending on the subject. If it is I, you, we, they, we use do. And if it is he, she, it, we use does. And if it is the verb to be, then we use is, um, and are, okay? And um, respectively, we are going to use also the negative forms, right? Don't, doesn't, isn't, aren't, okay? I'm not. So let me share with you this thing. And you will see number one, number two, and they are 14. We're going to see only 10, all right? If you have any question about this, please let me know, okay? 
si hay alguna pregunta acerca de estas 14, entonces me dicen, ¿verdad? The first one is, what is your name? Remember, what is your name? Number two, can you tell me number two? Do we have a meeting? Exactly. Number three. What does he do? What does he do? What does? What does? What does what he does? do? Mm -hmm. what, uh, what. Yes, but we have to pronounce correctly the letter S. Remember? What does he do? Mm -hmm. What does he do? What does he do? Number four. They are not. They aren't. Yes. They are right. in the beverages industry. They yes. Are. Number They're five. Right. The West Branch don't distribute that line of product. Very good, Hilda. Yes. The West Branches. West branches son las sucursales de una compañía. Okay. The West Branches. Number six. Are you? Is your company? Is your company? Okay. Porque your company is it. Solo es una compañía, ¿verdad? No es are. Porque no habla de tú. Habla de tu compañía. ¿Verdad? Okay. Number seven. I don't see your point. Correct. I don't see it either. Number eight. <laughs> Number eight. Uh -huh. Computers, widgets. Work Whoa. slow. Yes, work mm. slow. Mm -hmm. Yes, the work slow. Plus, well mm -hmm. number Please nine. My family doesn't eat dinner early. Correct. My family doesn't because it's a group, right? We are not going to say don't because we are not talking about the individuals. I mean, our individual alls, yeah, in the group. We are just talking about one family, right? So my family doesn't eat dinner um, early. Mm -hmm. Number 10. What are you? Okay. No, number 10. Number 10. Yes. Adapt. Adapt. Yes. Right. Correct. Number 11. What are the good names? Correct. Number 12. Business. Business supply marketing. By Marius Gray. Okay. This is plural, so we are going to pronounce this businesses. Okay. Businesses. That's correct. Business. Oh. Mm -hmm. Business, business apply. Business, apply marketing in various apply. ways. Apply. 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 Number 11. I'm sorry, number 13. Do employees know the core, the core value? Correct. Do. Number 14. Do. How is this a small business survive? Yes, survive. correct. How does this small business survive? Very good. What about those the past simple tense in this statement? What's the past tense of win? One. They won. Yes. One. Así como el número uno, así se dice ese verbo. One, one. and one, right? They won the race. Number two. Eight. 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 Correct. Giraffes. Aid all the tallest trees in the area. Number three. Became. Became. Computers became a great tool. Yes. Number four. Uber changed. 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 Yeah, changed. Uh, so it, it is Uber. Okay. Uber changed the taxi business completely. Number five. What we have. Did you, did, right? Did, did, did you have did a good you, weekend? Uh, yes. Uh, Number six. Was, was, was correct. Number seven. Maintain department. 
repair. Correct. Maintenance. Así se pronuncia esto. Miren, maintenance. 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 Yes. Maintenance department repaired the roof. Repaired with a letter D. Repaired the roof. Number eight. People. People. Didn't people want. didn't want, yes. People didn't want food. <laughs> they want want money. More money. wanted. Want they money. wanted more money. Y como la N y la T en el American English, usam, no pronunciamos la T, ¿verdad? Sino que es wanted. Wanted more money. Number nine. Did not receive. Did you receive? Mm -hmm. did ah, you not correct. Ajá. Did you not? Is correct. Pero también podríamos preguntar. Didn't you? Didn't you receive? Okay. Didn't did you, you receive a newsletter about the merger? Acerca de la fusión de las compañías, ¿verdad? Okay. Number ten. What did you do? Yes. What did you do? Very good. A ver, con el pasado simple del B. Number one. How was? How was the meetings? No. No. Because it is plural. How were? How were? Yes, how were the meetings? Very good. Number two. Uh, who was? Who was the bus there? Who was the bus there? Yes. Number three. When was the lunch time? Correct. Number four. Where were the where, 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 where. quarters in 19, 1990? Yes. When were they? Ajá. Uh -huh. Headquarters yeah. es la sede central, ¿ok? Es la oficina central de una compañía. Y es un término militar, pero que se usa a nivel de negocios, ¿verdad? En las compañías, headquarters oh, wow. es la oficina central. Where were the headquarters? And 19, I'm sorry, 1990. Um, headquarters always is going to be plural, okay? Headquarters es un nombre que siempre va a ser plural. It doesn't have a singular form, all right? Number five. The personal were disappoint, disappointment for the managed decision. Okay, we, aquí podríamos usar where o podríamos usar was, pero eh, en general yo dijera the personnel was disappointed. Okay, porque estoy hablando como el personal como grupo. Okay, pero también se puede decir where como individuos, ¿verdad? Así que no hay mayor problema con ese. Number six. What? What? Where? Where? Uh, where? Where? Were you a quality control where supervisor? You? Okay. Number seven. Was. Was he on where? time? Correct. Number eight. Where? Were, were they where close were friend? friends? Great. Number nine. It was a was great not, training. Where? Very good. And what about number 10? I was, I was ready, ready to leave. No. Yeah, I was ready to leave. Leave, <clears throat> not leave, okay? Leave, <laughs> okay? No para vivir, sino que para irnos, right? Okay, people, allow me to go right here. Bien, la última actividad que me quedó en el tintero es este, la lectura que teníamos en el manual acerca de Don Ricky Martin. Ya, ya la leímos, ¿verdad? Esta ya la leímos, eh, por lo menos en la plataforma ya la leímos, pero eh, hagamos la lectura, ¿ok? Just the reading, just to uh, practice vocabulary, ¿ok? And you are going to read it for me, ¿ok? Ustedes la van a leer por partes, vamos a ver, vamos a decir el primer párrafo, lo lee, vamos a ver, lo lee Carlos Antonio. El segundo párrafo lo, vale, lo voy a compartir porque estoy todavía así, ¿verdad? El segundo párrafo lo puede leer Melissa. Eh, the third paragraph, Norma Elizabeth Lizano. And the fourth, me. Oscar, uh, okay, 
who, who sent me? Oscar. Okay, I was gonna say Oscar right now. Yeah, Oscar. But we have two Oscars, no? Only one Oscar. Pero yo tengo dos eh, cuadros suyos acá. A ver. Ok, y ahora ya se puso solo uno. Ya ven que es el Zoom. Ya ven que es el Zoom. A ver, el siguiente, the next one will be Hilda. And the last one, who wants to be the last one? Who wants to read the last one? Hey, teacher. Ok, go ahead. So let's start. Ok. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. On December uh, 24, uh, 1971. 1971. He, mm -hmm, 1971. He was, perdón, he was always a performer. As a child. As a child. He, as a child. Sería child. Child. child okay. uh -huh. As a child, he uh, appeared in television commercials and studied singing. Singing, yes. Continue, Sing. please, Thanks. Melissa. Okay. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band. Menu. He worked hard with the, and he became very well, you know, but... Aquí sería le, known. Aquí no pronunciamos la K, mire. Well known. No. No, but he left the group after five years. All right, continue, please. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't, didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this Tuesday, he moved back to the USA. Thank you. Continue, please, Oscar. Back into USA, he appeared on an American soup opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. All right, continue, please. That, that album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit. Living La Vida Loca was on that album. All right. And the last one, please. Now, he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter from the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Very good. All right, people. So when was Ricky Martin born? On December 24th. 24th. All right. 1971. On December the 24th of 1971. A ver, fluidamente sería. On December the 24th of 1971. A ver, todos. On December, on December, on December, 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 on 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 What three cities did Ricky Martin live in? Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. Three cities. Puerto Rico. Uh, and New, New, New York, York City. New York City. Mm -hmm. And New York City, Mexico City, Mexico, Mexico, Mexico City. City. Yes, so he lived in three and three cities. All right, people, I think it is time to finish. Okay, I am so glad that you did it. You could make it, and um, well, on the way we're going to meet us again. 
God's will, ¿ok? Um, yo les agradezco mucho todo su esfuerzo. Um, I really appreciate your effort. And um, my best, my best tip or my best advice is never give up, ¿ok? Never give up. Nunca se rindan. Always keep up, ¿ok? Siempre mantengan el paso, ¿verdad? Aunque sea así trabajo como voy yo ahorita, miren en la imagen, pero vamos a ir dando. Eh, espero que haya sido de mucho provecho este módulo y que hayamos avanzado lo que necesitábamos avanzar, ¿verdad? Que habíamos cumplido los objetivos. Eh, nos quedamos hasta acá. Time is up. Ok. And thank you very much to everybody. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Encendamos todas las cámaras a ver si podemos, aunque sea así, que salga todo loco el mío, pero a ver, encendamos todas las cámaras, pongámonos bien bonitos ahí, a ver, con una big, big smile, ok, with a happy face. There you go. Ajá. Bien. Celsius. Ajá. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second. Nelson, can you? Oh, yo creo que Nelson tiene problema, ¿verdad? A ver, Oscar. Ajá. Vamos a ver. A ver, otra vez. Ahí estamos. Vamos a ver. Ey, ey, espérense, espérense. La voy a ir a revelar. A ver si sale bien. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Ok, people. Al ratito se las voy a pasar en cuanto cierre todo esto. Ok. Y este, la última cosa es que, eh, pues todo tiene que estar terminado, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. Yo sé que ya todos terminaron, por eso no estamos muy preocupados. Pero este, ya todos deben estar inscritos, ¿verdad? Espero que ya todos tengan apartado su cupo para el próximo módulo. ¿Ok? Sí. Yes, 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 Ok, then. All right. Bien, entonces nos quedamos hasta acá, ¿verdad? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. See you oh, next sí. year. God's will. Ok. Thank you. Happy Holidays. Bendición a todos. Blessing. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.